I'm worried about synthetic biology getting out of control. That is someone creating a novel organism they don't fully understand and then it does something disastrous to the environment. Apart from ageing and hair loss, I'm worried by uh, global warming, which is the great issue in front of us, and the huge extinction of species going on at the moment, both caused by there being more hominids on the planet than it can easily sustain. Climate change is a, an issue that, as some colleagues have put it, has a uh, huge procrastination penalty. As we delay action to curtail um, greenhouse gas emissions, uh, it becomes more and more difficult to stabilize uh, those greenhouse gas concentrations at a level that isn't uh, dangerous. Uh, so um, uh, my concern is that, uh, that we don't respond to that challenge fast enough. What worries me fundamentally is humanity's capacity for evil. It's not unique to any period. We are the kinds of animals that do horrible things to each other, and we can't deny that and live happily ever after, as some people would like to. The other thing that really worries me is the rise of fundamentalism, particularly fundamental religions. Tribalism, political, religious, economic ideologies that are embedded in tribes and tribalism, the whole xenophobia, us against them, the good guys, the bad guys, that's an evolved characteristic of our species. It's the dark side of human nature. It's not going to go away. Uh, we have to be eternally vigilant, uh, not just for freedom, but also on the other end to protect our freedoms from these tribal tendencies um, that worry me. People being illogical, people being irrational, people who look at the data but still don't see the pattern, that frightens me. I worry that people don't care enough about educating their kids about science, math and engineering. For the United States, something has to happen next because we're in crisis when it comes to science and math. We've got to change the way we educate our kids and we've got to invest much more in basic science infrastructure for the entire country. Well, I think mortality, you know, it really sucks that we're all going to die and that's just, that's just the fact of it. So it worries me, you know, of course, the notion of immortality probably worries me too. I wouldn't want to just keep drifting on forever, but uh, mortality really should worry us all, don't you think? I shouldn't say that smiling, should I? <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> <laughs> what worries me about the web uh, and the direction that we're going with communication technologies is how little serendipity there is. I, I used to have so much serendipity in the library and I don't go to the library anymore. I never go to libraries. I can get all of my information online. The web is it was an ideal world in which we would uh, you know, meet people from around the world with different ideas, different opinions, but it seems to me that um, Increasingly, the way that we're consuming media, the way that we're consuming news, the way that we are interacting with information is, is more and more funneled um, through our, our friends and our contacts, which just simply serves to confirm our biases. At Amazon, it's designed to show you what else you would like, rather than something that you might just come across. And newspapers and the whole, the whole works. It's just a little less magical than it used to be. And ultimately, it, it reduces our perspective, and it means that we have less serendipity to learn about new perspectives, new ideas, and whole new ways of looking at the world. I'm pretty optimistic. Uh, I think things are generally better now than they've ever been before, and I don't see that trend stopping. <laughs>